Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I post every day bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, we are going to find out what do people find most attractive about you lately. Today is the 24th of December 2023. Time here in uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 9.12 a.m. Okay Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. What do people find most attractive about Virgo lately? Virgo, these people can be anybody, okay? People who look at you on your social media, friends, family, exes, people you work with, people you deal with on a daily basis, people you are currently romantically connected to can be anybody okay the moon in verse at the bottom of the deck you're very honest okay the moon in verse you're not hiding anything you're being yourself um there is this energy where the Queen of Wands in one verse. I've been reading the Queen of Wands lately as like somebody who's indifferent. Um, for some reason, it's it's there is this energy where like you don't care. <laughs> okay, Virgo. Lately, some people may find you to be attractive because you just don't care. You're just being yourself. You do whatever. Okay. You. It's like, it shows how genuine you are. Ace of Cups. You have a heart of a gold. A gold. Um, G-O-L-D, not G-O-A-L. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Definitely somebody who loves almost unconditionally. Somebody very genuine. Ace of Cups. It's a gift, okay? It feels like it's a gift. something new as well because ace indicates a new beginning sorry that my hand is shaking because i've been overloading on coffee <laughs> but virgo ace of cups there's something new that you have done lately okay that shows that you love yourself you care about yourself um, you may also be an inspiration to certain people something new that you have started embarking on it it's like there's proof there's there's proof to why there's proof to why you are taking good care of yourself okay or you could be showing it to them without really um boasting about it because the queen of wands here is in one verse i don't read the queen of wands in one verse as a negative card because above it is the ace of cups the page of pentacles here is in one verse again it's something it has something to do with like you're not petty or if you used to be petty you're not petty anymore <laughs> so somebody somebody or some people people in general these again can be anybody right death indicates a transformation lately you have transformed something has changed it it could either be you putting on extra weight or losing weight whatever that feels good for you whatever that looks good for you uh to to you for you or to other people but whatever it is the death indicates trans transformation a big change that either it could have been just you um physically mentally emotionally the way you treat people um there's something that has changed okay it could also just be your vibe um you're vibing super high because of the ace of cups here it shows that you care about yourself uh, but in a of course, in a healthy way. Um, an Ace of Cups can indicate food and drinks because it could also be something you've been eating, something you've been drinking. I mean, that's for some of you, okay? But Ace of Cups is definitely self-love, self-care. And for some of you Virgos who are pregnant, you're glowing, okay? So some people may find you to be very attractive lately because you're glowing, you're pregnant, but it could just be you glowing in general. But you're not boastful about it. You're not... 
um, it feels more like, hey, you know, I can learn something from Virgo. Uh, it's something new, something new that they have learned about you and that they could learn for themselves as well, that they could apply to their lives as well, okay? And it's this, a very pure energy, Ace of Cups for sure, very pure, very genuine. And the tower here is in reverse. Something has changed, Virgo. There is an opposite here, Virgo. Who you were in the past or how you look like in the past or the way you led your life in the past. It, it's like 360. There's something that has changed. So some people may find that to be super attractive. Um, Ace, again, new beginning, new haircut, new body, a new face <laughs> for some of you. Um, it, I don't know what you do, okay, but something new about you that I feel they find it to be very attractive. But the most attractive part of it is that you are not actually keeping it a secret. You could be sharing it with others. Also, you may not be too, uh, how do you say, like, a, again, Queen of Wands and Lover is like indifferent. Um, you just don't know. It's almost like another thing. It's like you just don't know how attractive you are. You don't know how this impacts these people, okay, in some way, shape, or form. Um, not boastful at all. And we've also got the King of Swords. But these can also be the people who find you to be very attractive. Um, it could be a Fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio, can be any sign, okay? But the King of Swords here, your intelligence. Lately, I think, again, you speak the truth. When the Swords are in an upright position, you speak the truth, you are honest. But it could also indicate a certain power that you have for yourself or over other people, um, but in a very fair, um, in a very fair way. Hope that makes sense. We've also got the Seven of Swords. Some of you lately, this is just for a small group of you. You may have called someone out. Okay, you may have called someone out, called something out. You may have also been standing. Um, I don't want to get too detailed because I'm not sure if I can say it on YouTube. Okay, but you may have said something, supported something with so much conviction. That may perhaps these are the group of people who agree with you and they find you to be very attractive because of that okay it's something you've said or something you've supported you've been supporting um and with so much confidence with so much fairness with so much clarity also articulate i'm hearing the word articulate some of you you could be very you could be articulating something that you believe in um that you support that people may find it to be very attractive because maybe these are like-minded people as well. They they agree with you. There's something very agreeable with something you have said or supported. Um, it sounds very convincing. That's what I'm hearing, very convincing. You've convinced certain people to uh, behave a certain way or to believe in something, to support something, okay? And could also just be them amazed with your intelligence and uh, how articulate you are or how much attention, like details as well that, um, that people may have not noticed or realized or seen. You, you kind of brought it up, right? Again, the sword is upright position, so you make things clear. To maybe to some people, they may not have seen it, heard it, or noticed it, okay? Just how smart you are, Seven of Swords. Like, uh, for those of you, Virgo, if you are like a... Because um, the King of Swords is somebody very strategic, okay? You may, have, you may have made something clear or taught somebody or a group of people. And if you're like some sort of like a motivational speaker, even if you're not, okay? You can be very motivational... Motiv motivational to anybody face to face doesn't have to be in a big scale some of you could be in a big scale but some of you it's like smaller scale but um there's something like just one-on-one -on -one, but you have enlightened them in some way shape or form you've helped them to you have helped steer them to a direction where they are much clearer but also in a very 
a smart, efficient way. I hope that makes sense because Seven of Swords right here, okay? Ace of Wands, you're definitely an inspiration to many. We've got two aces here. And again, the sword. So not only are you intelligent, but you are very passionate about something that I feel, again, the passion, your passion towards something is very infectious to a point where it inspires them, these people, to follow your footstep, okay? Could be one person, could be multiple people. Six of Cups in my verse. You're not the same. You're not the same like the past. You're not like a past. Like your old self is gone, death, done, <laughs> done and dusted. You are in, you're new. You're reformed. You are um, also the tower in my verse. It could also be you overcoming something, right? A tower moment. Um, an ending or disaster, what disaster, whatever it could be, you could have been, you may have gone through something that was very significant, um, that most probably some people may not come out of it alive, but you came out of it alive, okay, uh, it could be metaphoric, but it could also be literal, okay, overcoming obstacles, also your ability to fix problems and like very very calm that's what I'm picking up on using your common sense using your intelligence now let's pull up more cards here Virgo I'm hearing you're right okay Virgo some of you some people might find you to be attractive because whatever you've been seeing or it to them to them you're right and also it could be you proven proving some people wrong proving some people could be proving some people right and proving some people wrong as well, especially if they didn't have such a good perception of you in the beginning. Now, again, death here, Virgo, you've changed completely, okay? There's something major that you have made so many changes to um, or a big change to that people start to admire you and respect you for it. And the King of Swords definitely, to me, commands some sort of a respect, okay? The moon in reverse, four swords in reverse, ten of cups in reverse. Yeah, it's not the same anymore. Four swords in reverse. It's like your mind is very fascinating. King of swords, six of cups. Look, ten of cups in reverse, and then we've got this... Um, Ace of Wands, did I say Ace of Swords? Ace of Wands. So you inspire a group of people, but some people, uh, you make them think. Yeah, yeah. And you make them think differently. You make them think out of the box. But the Ace of Wands, Wands indicates attractiveness anyway, because it's fire energy. So a very attractive energy. So yeah, I definitely am sensing that these people could literally find you to be very attractive physically or your mind is very attractive, your heart is very attractive. And I can't stress enough with the death here with being the first card that came out. Your whatever that's attractive about you now to some people or to one person in particular, anybody, is something that is completely different from who you used to be, okay? It's not the same. That's a big change here. Okay, Virgo, let's see more. How strong you are, strength card. How strong you are, how much more in control you are with your life, with your situation, or where you're going. You, it's like knowing what you want now, Virgo, that is very attractive about you, knowing where you're going, knowing what you want, just being in a di right direction, in a correct direction in their eyes, okay? And I don't want some love first, so you no longer, so the death here, the side, it feels like if you were somebody, Virgo, who was all over the place, well, the, <laughs> most Virgos know what they want, okay, but there's there are some Virgos here that I feel with the Nato Wands in my verse. If you were like kind of all over the place and not really uh, 
oh, not very sure, not very confident, um, didn't know where you were going, didn't know who you were. I feel like Virgo now, people find you to be so attractive because you know who you are or you're on your way to knowing who you are. You are in the right direction again. Um, you tell the truth. You are very honest. Um, but again, you are not boastful about it. You are not showing off in a way where it would make these these people feel as though you're doing it for show. Okay, and that's what I'm seeing. And a strength, definitely a very extremely strong card. So and it gets strength, right? And it is in an upright position. Some people are just so, uh, find you to be attractive because of how strong you are. It could be physically, okay? Physically strong. Um, it could be because of your body as well because the lion, you don't see a lion, you really, I don't think I've ever seen a lion who doesn't appear to be fit. Okay, so it could be you becoming fit. It could be fit. You're fit mentally or fit physically, emotionally. Um, and the Eight of Cups here is in reverse. So you, you, it's like you, you, you believe in something. You stuck with it, and you make it happen. Okay, it's something you've been enduring for a while something that you've been working on, enduring, um, learned. And I feel you have come to a place, Virgo, where people find you very attractive because you've, you've proven to them that this can be done, okay? Again, it feels like you inspire these people. Um, and it, like, who knows, it could be your body. And you know, some of you, you've been working out, your body looks great. Some people might find you to be very attractive lately because of that. You stuck to a certain routine. Uh, but that routine, I feel like, is a routine that you have changed, okay? If this was your routine before, it's not the same routine anymore. It's like you have changed to a different routine where some people find that to be very attractive because you're showing, either you're inspiring them that it can be done or that you're showing like a certain process um, teaching them how it should be done, okay? Let's see more, Virgo. Very partial energy, like fair. It's like, no, I'm not leaning towards the left or the right. I'm very partial, I'm very fair. That's how I see it right now with the two of swords. Hangman, your mind, right? Look at the light behind the hang, the head right here. Um, you make people think, it could be your, what you believe in. You could also be somebody very philosophical. You are a thinker, um, a believer of, like also having that can-do attitude, okay, Virgo? Some people may find you to be very attractive because lately because you have that can-do attitude. Also, you make them see things very differently. You make them think out of the box. Um, the Empress here is in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse. If you've been a doormat, I'm not saying all of you are. If you were a doormat, you no longer are. Okay. And some people might find that very attractive. You're not a doormat. Um, the Empress in reverse, not over nurturing, not overly giving. Uh, also, just enough. Because the strength here is like somebody being very diplomatic about things, treading very carefully, very tactful. There's something about your tact as well. You're very tactful, but but then at the same time, you're not a doormat. You don't you won't let people just walk all over you. Okay. Also, your ability to fix something, to tame something, to make something happen that may seem to be impossible in um, some people's eyes. Okay. Hmm. And there is an angel right here, Virgo. One second. Um, there is an angel right here. You're kind. But also, <laughs> it feels like, again, you're kind, but you're not, you're not clueless about it, right? It comes back to that point of 
where you're not a doormat. You know what you're doing. Um, you're kind, but you're not a doormat. There's a really good balance right there that I'm seeing here. And your ability to also, again, this is like a non-biased energy. Like you're not particularly biased, but whatever that you believe in, it feels like people get it people get you people agree with you these are a group of people okay or just one person in particular <laughs> this song just reminded me of look what you made me do you know that song from taylor swift wait let me find that song let me find the lyrics here look Look what you made me do. Okay. It reminded me of that. This song. Um, hey, son. It says, I don't like your little games. Don't like your tilted stage. The role you made me play of the fool. No, I don't like you. <laughs> okay, so Virgo, some of you, you're converting people who initially didn't like you to now liking you, okay? um maybe you set them straight right with the king of swords it could be you telling them being honest or it could be you showing them through your actions or through your achievement this is here i don't like your perfect crime how you laugh when you lie you said that the gun was mine isn't cool no i don't like you so again it just feels like people who didn't like you now who has the best last laugh is you, okay? So I find you to be very attractive because you've proven so many people wrong. Um, see, but I got smarter. I got harder in the nick of time. So you've become harder, smarter, because the Empress here is in reverse, and the King of Swords is in upright position. The King of Swords is definitely harder than the Empress here in reverse. So you have changed, right? The death here, such a big... Um, transformation oh look what you made me do look what you made me do so i feel like it could be because of your past who you were before again the death here you have changed you you made it a point to be successful to get to to achieve something that some people may have thought that you wouldn't be able to achieve I don't like your kingdom keys. They once belonged to me. You asked me for a place to sleep, lock me out, and threw a feast. So some of you, these are people who have doubted you, the moon and reverse. No more doubts. Find you to be so attractive because you, again, with the king of swords here, you've cleared a lot of people's doubts in regards to you, but also it could be you helping people clear their doubts, okay, through maybe your advice, your actions, or whatever you've been showing them here with the strength, the skills that you have. The world moves on, another day, another drama, but not for me, not for me, all I think about is karma. And then the world moves on, but one thing's for sure, maybe I got mine, but you'll, you, you will all get yours. <laughs> so Virgo, um, so you've moved on, right? You, you don't deal with drama anymore. You care for yourself. Ace of Cups. You love yourself. You show, you've, sh you've shown to some people, a lot of people, that you, you're taking care of yourself. You love yourself. And you believe in yourself, right? The strength here. And you're so strong. Um, and you don't want to deal with drama. You may have cut certain people off, right? With the King of Swords here. You just don't want to deal with the drama. And you also prove them in many different ways how things should be done, okay? <laughs> so look, um, this part. But the old tailor, I'm sorry, but the old tailor can't come to the phone right now. Why? Oh, because she's dead. So Virgo, because she's dead, death card. The old Virgo is dead. <laughs> The new Virgo has risen. So the old you, again, it could be whatever changes you made to your life. Or people who didn't like you. People who didn't find you to be attractive. Now they find you to be attractive. So 
lately people have been noticing that okay all you is gone virgo and this is what um and for some of you it could just be it may not be physical okay it may not be an external thing it could be internally um also verbally the words the things that you say or through your success um through your logic through your intelligence and it all kind of makes sense now and i i feel like there are some people or could just be one particular person finds you to be attractive lately because of that okay virgo this is your reading i hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below feel free to subscribe to all of my other channels my main channel is uh, chelsea love tarot that's the channel that i would usually go live do personal readings during my live stream and also weekly readings for all 12 signs during my live stream um, it's not free yeah personal readings they're not free you have to super chat me but there's no limited amount no specific amount um smaller super chat i'll do like brief reading bigger super chat i'll do like a more in-depth reading and uh, but anyway if i go i also have a travel vlog channel check it out as well if you want to and don't forget to hit on the bell notification button on this channel if you want to be notified every time when i post your videos take care virgo love you bye